All right, uh, let's see. Yep, just exist, not consumable. Perfect. In that case, I might try the cherry bomb again. Uh, let's see, we still want the walnut. Do I want to do that? You know what, let's get rid of the three, Peter. Maybe? He exists unless Ice Cream Man happens when he dies, and he takes the tractor with him, which is fine. Let's see, I need the pepper, right? I'm not sure. Does the cherry bomb do the exact same thing as the pepper? Eh, I guess the pepper is just about as effective. Uh, you know what? No. Mm. Doesn't. So the cherry bomb does not blow up the ice. That's dumb. Let's lose the three, Peter. Keep the potato. Okay. By the way, chat, saying no repeatedly is completely useless because there's there's whatever the the time delay is, and my brain has already moved on by the time uh, by the time you guys all start saying no. So it's like I actually have to stop and think. What the hell are they saying no to? What what was the question I just asked? And I realized, like, yes, I just asked a question. But... It's gone. Uh, let's see. Do I want to slap down lily pads early? Probably not. I was thinking, like, a lily pad with a walnut both out there. But I think that's stupid. So let's not do that. Okay. Well, this is inconvenient. Let's just keep getting those down. <laughs> I just... Ugh, sloppy. I get it. damage does a spike weed do? Time to find out. It's probably not enough to egregiously harm one of these guys. So I should prioritize probably the snow peas first. And obviously getting all of my sunflowers down. Okay. More spud mines. sunflowers. Yeah, I don't have the... I don't have the three Peters. So we probably just want to get the, the usual line of the snowflowers down and go nuts. Uh... Eh. Save her dosh. A little spooky, but I think the snow flower can take him out. Right. I gotta remember, gotta keep putting the sunflowers down. And also, I said this earlier, you know, man, I could just like power through and beat this tonight. I don't think I'm actually gonna get there. I think my brain is too much mush. Uh, I think we're good. Let's get one more nut. is a tragic consequence of probably just doing what I do. I've been really waiting for potentially like taking a vacation for a while. I just haven't been in a good position or like a good headspace where I can say like, yeah, I'm just going to take a week off. I don't even know what I would do nowadays. Sit around at home and be mad. I, th I think that's the main thing is that I've got to break myself out of the weird doom scroll land that I've just been stuck in for forever. Eh, let's just start getting these guys down. Yeah, it's 
There's too much game for one night. It'll take two more at least. Depends on how much time I put into it and if I start with it. Because I bet if I started with uh, Plants vs. Zombies tomorrow, I'd be good to go. I guess we really should start getting those down just for the sake of... ...getting around cooldowns. Let's see. Almost tempting to have a lot more, like, spike plants leading up to it. But, I don't think I need it. Man, they are effective. Okay, we don't need to do this. What am I doing? I don't know. I'm overwhelmed by the amount of just things going on. Actually, speaking of overwhelmed... I don't actually have any spikes that I can put before these walnuts. So I should probably actually give them give them some help. There we go. That's working. Okay. Anything else good? Looks like this combo is pretty effective. Just gotta get Off cooldown. I guess I'll slap this down for the time being. There it is. Huh. We didn't get a Zamboni on the last round. Well, let's probably go back to beefing out this section, just because once again they don't have the spikes to just sit there and do damage. They're here for 40k. Yeah, I think we'll switch to that after this round. I'm having a good time. Actually, no no. Let's let's finish backyard day. We're only, what, like, two more levels away from that? That seems like a good stopping point, and that, that means I can finish it off tomorrow. Even if I've got the whole melty brain thing going on. I think this combo is enough to beat the game. Maybe. I think I'd need some tall nuts and torchwoods to really make it sing the rest of the way to the end. And cattails. I love cattails, which, super unfortunately, if I remember right, can't bring them to the roof, which is just like, oh, Boop. That is really satisfying, just watch, watching the Zem Zamboni just, like, tow its way in and then be like, oh, never mind. This was a mistake. And that, I think, is why I don't remember the Zambonis that well. Because I think I just ended up using spike weeds like crazy. And saying, well, yep, this is the solution. Nothing else matters. Let's see. Sacrifice ice to fire torchwood makes ice peas normal. And flaming peas removes frost on zombies. That's probably fine. Because I think it does more damage. Yeah, because you, you couldn't mix it with, like, a winter melon comboed with... Let's see. Comboed with it, because it would still take the frost off the, off the zombies. I don't know. I'll think about it. I think that that actually is why I never really bothered with Torchwood originally. Is because I, I think I would go out of my way specifically to do, um... Winter melons. And so Torchwood just did not have, like, a meaningful effect. What is the most useless plant? I don't know. Actually, this game's designed pretty damn well. Oddly enough, I'd almost say 3 Peter. Just because you're almost better off going for the Gatlings instead. Marigold, by far. We don't have Marigold. I, I'm just talking ones that I currently have. Well, that's a, this is a problem. There you go. Get out of here. Well, there's the torchwood. P. 
Peas that pass through it turn into fireballs. Okay. So how do we want to do this one? Sun. Oh, we've got the dolphins. No Zambonis. So maybe we actually want to do Tangle Kelp on this one. Yeah, let's roll Tangle Kelps. Okay. Let's just do this. And then get casual. That's better. Maybe that's it. I've just been sitting up too much. I need to recline. Okay. Media problem. Eh, let's just do that. It's like, well, do I think I could get 200 sun just to get a repeater down? The answer is... I don't care. I will be fine. Now we'd probably go for the 200 sun. I only need one more. Come on. Why don't you pop? There we go. Of course, the rest of this is not nearly as covered. Uh, how do I want to swing this one? I could probably get a re repeater down. Next one's probably going to have to be a spud mine. I need more sunflower. I guess you could argue the, the pea shooter might be the most useless. It's obviously incredibly useful, like, in the beginning of the game. Okay, there's no way I'm getting enough for two here. Uh, let's see. But, like, as soon as you get past the initial part of the game, you never use the pea shooter again, and there's no reason to. But we'll have to see. Once again, there's a lot more, there's a lot more plants that we haven't even unlocked yet. Flower, come on. Just need one more. That'll do. Interesting thing about a torchwood focused strat is you actually want to get the walnuts down much sooner than you normally would. Because you want to put the torchwoods directly behind them. Okay. So far, so hot. that there. Come on. Just a, little, just a smidge more. Thank you. Bam. I am negotiating with plants to give me sun. Uh, actually, no, this is fine. That's why we have this sucker. Charges pretty dang quick, too. Let's see, they did have a problem with making plants that are pretty much only for a single zombie type. Uh, hence the screen door zombie and the blower shroom. At least the blower shroom had, like, a really nice AoE to it. doing okay.
Well, that worked out. Oh, let's get a torch wood down for that one. There we go. I remember why those guys were annoying. Uh, let's see. Well, we should probably focus on the... Uh, uh oh. There we go. <laughs> Probably focus on getting the torchwoods down and focus on getting our defenses centrally. Just seeing as these guys suck and are really annoying. They really are just pole vaulters, but for the water. But I still hate them. Uh. I mean, I guess what we could do is just have a second layer of walnuts just right out in the front. That'd probably be the ideal way to do it. None of that, you. Aha! You had a plan, didn't you? It failed. Okay. Well, let's get that out front. No, I missed a sun. I tried. It was just too much. It was just always too much. Okay, we good on Torchwoods? We're kind of good on Torchwoods. Another lily pad. Okay, this is messy. Yeah, got him. Okay, how they doing? Probably need lily pad. Give me that money. There we go. Please chill. And by that, I mean burn. Man, I ended this with a lot more money than I thought I was going to. Well, that's fine. Do I use the tall nut instead of the walnut? Cannot be vaulted over. That. Yeah. Okay. Do I want to bother with a three-peater again? Honestly, this is fine. We did pretty okay. Looking good, looking good. Yeah, because this way we don't have to worry about the pole vaulters or the dolphins. Alright. Let's see if I can keep my brain in the game. Actually do this right. Let's see, does anyone like the second one better than the first? I mean, I think there is absolutely an argument for Plants vs. Zombies 2 just being the superior game, as it still gets active development and has, like, a ton of plants and, you know, modern support. Big issue with it, microtransactions. So, if you don't mind microtransactions, it's not a big deal at all. But if you do, it's a serious pain in the ass. On my end, it's just, it's hard for me to want to play anything that is riddled with microtransactions, just from a, a kind of an ethical perspective. Like, I'm fine with light microtransactions, like, buy a character skin. It's like, okay, I can do that. But when it's just like, buy all these plants and packs, or buy this to be able to progress, and it's just like, I don't want to. That doesn't feel good anymore. But I also only ever played, like, a little bit of Plants vs. Zombies uh, 2. Like, I loaded it up, saw that it had microtransactions, and I'm like, oh, well, this is no longer interesting. I'd love it if they repackaged it as, like, a, a standalone game without any of that stuff. Buy it in a heartbeat. Microtransactions are a garbage excuse for not putting a full price on your game. I can mildly understand it from the perspective of, like, hey, we're going to be supporting this game for years and years. But at the same time, I, it just feels like a, 
DLC, but considerably worse. Spud mine. And the only problem is... Okay, nope, we're good. Hey, this is a lot smoother than the last time. Of course, eh, no, I think we'll actually make it. <laughs> oh, that never gets old. Let's see, might as well get a torchwood down here. Then we should really start considering the water. Luckily, the game does not actually just immediately give you uh, jerks in the water, so you don't have to worry about it as much. Okay. I think we're golden. He usually dies. This looks reasonable. Okay. Load that up. You should be fine. Poor Spud Mine finally got a bit of a use. Okay. This is scary. should have gotten a little bit more down instead of that. Okay, nope, he lost his head. We are kind of good. Uh, yeah, let's just get rid of that one. There we go. Like I said, kind of sloppy, overall making it work. Burn bucket man. Get out of my house. Poor tall nut. Eh, he looks like it he'll be fine. Right, let's get that there. How are these guys doing? Uh hmm. Nope, they're fine. Yeah. I still feel like I gotta up my defenses, but it is it's not it's not that bad. I, I don't know. I, are there any sound effects that you guys are just like absolutely always drawn towards? Is it something for me? It's like hearing the bap noise whenever they uh, hit the tall nut. I'd totally forgotten about it, but it's one of my like enduring favorite sound effects. It's just so cathartic. There we go. More gun. Just plop that out. Not like we have anything to fear at this point. <laughs> every time. Literally every time. Oh, I never actually put a tall nut here. The other, I'm not going to call it a cathartic thing, but there's just something really satisfying about seeing a giant lineup of tall nuts just angrily being just present. Okay. It's actually, actually a thing games will take advantage of to make the game seem more appealing. Uh, which what? Once again, if you're responding to something I said from like 15-20 seconds ago, my thought press has already gone on and I've forgotten what I said. Unless I'm on a very specific to topic. Oh really? The guy who designed Plants vs. Zombies did an insane aquarium. Huh. Oh wait, no. That's, that's different from the other aquarium that I was thinking of. Oh, wait, shoot. 
I didn't realize there were Zambonis on this level. Damn it. Okay, that's bad? Oh, the strangely appealing sound effects thing. Okay, we made it mostly work. Except for those jerks. I'm gonna have a second tall nut there. Hate it when that happens. I should have been filling the whole area with, uh... Lily pads. I just wasn't thinking. Well, the ice does go away eventually. Okay. Let's get that there. There we go. Got it. And... Money. But not enough. Hello, we heard you were having a pool party. We think that is fun. We'll be right over. Sincerely, the zombies. The ice only goes away after the bobsled team goes through it. That makes sense. Ugh. Oh. Speaking of distractions... Shell made leftovers and is now eating them in the same room as me. Shell's having minestrone soup and is eating it in the same room as me. I don't see how this is different. <laughs> Both are torturous. Ah, I could really use something that's a little bit different than tall nuts. I guess it would slow them down, but... This isn't useful to me right now. Shell is teasing you. She likes to do this. Okay, got him. Okay. I'm just gonna line that one up. Oh, I should have actually put the three Peter. There we go. It'd actually be really cool if the spikes would hurt zombies regardless of where they're, uh, like what they were wearing on their heads. That's poor tall nuts. Having a bad day. Still. Not gonna do too much to help him here. He'll either make it or he'll die. No mercy. How are we feeling? Let's just keep piling it in on this level. Well, I said I was gonna I wasn't gonna help him, but I guess that actually is a lie. That there. Get another three Peter. Tall nut. There we go. Oh, where's my where's my torchwoods? There they are. We might have to worry about this one a bit. He goes right over. But that's not a problem. Hello! I've brought many a three, Peter. Bad spot. Actually, no. That's exactly what this is for. Hey, the tall nut down. Oh, I mean that kind of works. I 
don't think you can actually have double fire here. Which is a little tragic. I guess I should have saved them. For like right here. Wow, did I kill a did I kill a dolphin mid-jump? Damn. more lily pads. It really does feel like it kind of expected me to make more mistakes here. I'm just gonna start getting rid of some of these. To get him gone. Okay. I just... I want, I want lily pad. There's a lily pad. Why did I put it there? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Get out of here, tall nuts. Okay, this is a problem. Not a huge one. You know who totally forgot he had, uh... He has jalapenos? This guy totally forgot he has jalapenos. Well, I guess I'm just gonna put some more Torchwoods down as, like, bonus defense. Question mark. Kind of defend that. Uh, eh, we're doing fine. Yeah, we're doing fine. Hey, I forgot about these guys. This sea shroom. I mean, realistically, it's just, it's just the regular mushroom that you put in the water. Anyway, you know they used to call me Fog Man because I would hang out in the fog and jump out at people. Ah, oh, those were the days. 